one of the great things about this this CD and I hope its tour is going to be is that Derek's coming back. He's back and better than ever. No, but, <laughs> no, but, Derek, but Derek's back and Derek brings elements to us that we haven't had in six years. And but then Andy's here and he added something completely different. And so you know we're not losing one again the other. We're just kind of. Adding. So it's, it's just it's cool. We decided you know let's just let's do this and let's not try to worry about exactly what it is we're doing. Let's not come up with some kind of a marketing spin for it right up front. Let's not try to put a name on this. Let's just do it. It's happening. It's it's happening organically. We're how are we got here? For whatever reason, we are in a room together making music again. Let's not worry about what to call this. Let's just do it. So it's just, it's just really special. Will you? I got trouble. Uh, the title of CD uh, is Overdressed. Derek, since you wrote the song, and then I, what, um, what does Overdressed mean? Uh, the title comes from a, rec uh, a song on the record called Trouble. So it's, I, I thought of this quote from uh, Charles Spurgeon, how if your sin is small, your Savior is it's also small, but if your sin is great, then your Savior is great. And so the line is, you know, when I'm with you, I feel so overdressed. And um, basically just saying, I, I cover myself in these ways, and it's totally kind of Unnecessary inappropriate. The last couple of years we have been involved with the Dalit Freedom Network, Dalit Network.org, D A L I T. Um, in India, due to the caste system, you have uh, 250 to 300 million people who are denied civil rights, um, the right to education, to vote. Um, they get given just terrible menial tasks. Um, and they live in uh, just great oppression and poverty. And realizing that uh, the gospel is sweeping through that group of people um, who have been told for, for 3,500 years that they're nothing and that they're not human. And they're hearing now that, that they are much more than nothing, that they were created in the image of a God who loves them so much he died for them. And that's um, stunning. The song Two Weeks in Africa is, is kind of uh, ties up a lot of those emotions, those feelings that, that we've experienced over the years uh, and in these travels uh, and, and learning to care for the least of these as we're, we are all called to be missionaries as believers. That calling is, is specifically to take care of the, the, the poor and the downtrodden. song um, when my brother-in-law was preaching a, a sermon at church and he talked about um, how you can't divide your life into the secular and the sacred. He did a little part in his sermon about how um, mothering is sacred. So I called Andy and, and I had really been thinking about this whole thing and I just thought, you know, we've got to do something with this idea that, you know, being a mom is sacred. Just hearing that sermon really had a lot of impact on me and I thought, if it means this much to me, it's got to mean a lot to a whole bunch of other people too. There's a Reason is a song that's so hopeful and it's about the sovereignty of God and how He works and how great things come from sometimes very, very dark and, and doubting times. He makes things good. The whole record, every song, is so personal to all of us. And to me, what, what uh, speaks as, uh, loudly through the songs is a sense of rebirth. In the situation with the band and going in, I mean, it was like a big family reunion. And we're also trying to figure out who we are personally and who, what that means, you know, for our, our Christian faith. These songs are, are completely connected to Caden's Call, completely connected to this experience. Mm -hmm.